Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, today I am making a recipe sent in to me from one of my subscribers, Brian Smith, if that's your real name. Now he tells me that his missus, Helen, makes this breakfast for him and he loves it. He reckons it's reservoir beautiful. So today I'm gonna make that recipe by his instructions and just see how well it turns out. At the end of it, I'll either be giving it a big thumbs up or a big thumbs down. Let's start cooking. Now this recipe is using four of my favorite ingredients. But of course I'll be throwing some more in cause that's the way I roll. Anyway, let's start doing this. So for this, I've got a smallish frying pan which I'll crank up to high. Now I do need to cut some things up like this bacon. Now he says I do need four bits of bacon. So I've got two here, which I'll cut in half. Boof! Now I got four! I'll trim the hard stuff off and I'll just cut it into bits. And I'll chuck it in the pan, start that cooking. Now you also need some tomatoes for this. I'm using cherry tomatoes because I reckon they taste really good. They're a little bit sweeter than your normal other tomatoes. And I think the sweetness that it will bring will give this meal a real touch of class and extra flavor. So I'll cut those either in half or in bits. And I'll chuck the tomatoes in there with the bacon, get that cooking. And while that's sizzling away, let's start preparing these eggs. Prepared. Minus a shell, unless you want a nice crunchy texture to this meal, or a lacking calcium in your diet. Now these may, or may not, need a whisk. So I'll do that. And while they're still cooking, I want to go to my oven and turn on the grill. I'll turn it on to the hottest it can get. Now if you don't know what a grill is, that's these things up the top of the oven. You use them for grilling. Hence their name, grill. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm overcooking them. Turn, it, turn the heat down, someone. Okay, so let's flatten this out. And now it's time to add the eggs. Oh, I probably should have used three. Never mind. Two will have to do. So we'll just let that base cook for a little bit. Actually, I'll turn this off. Because the heat in there will just be perfect. Let's check the grill out. Oh! It is nuclear. So let me just quickly add a bit of salt and pepper to this. And let's stick this under the grill. Be careful though, and make sure that the handle on your frying pan won't melt under the heat. The last thing we need is your kitchen filling up with the smell of burning plastic. Hmm, that wouldn't be good. Now I do think most frying pans, at least good ones, would have heat resistant handles anyway, so you should be right. So we just need to cook this a little bit under the grill until the top looks a little bit cooked, which I think it is already. Gee, that didn't take long. Perfect. So now it's time to add some cheese. But before I do, there is something I want to add for myself to make it taste, I believe, even better. Some Tabasco sauce. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. So I won't be shy about adding quite a bit of that on. And now we just top it off with some cheese. Keep going. Keep going. Old Gregor needs his calcium. Well, I did take those eggshells out of the bowl, so I do! And this will just go straight back under the grill. Oh yeah, it's looking nuclear. And we just have to cook that until that cheese is melted. Mmm, yum, can't wait. Right, let's check up. Oh, not yet. I wanna see that cheese brown and bubbling. I love it brown and bubbling. Hear that? That's the sound of success. Let's take a look. Oh, yes. Hey, it might not be brown, but it's bubbling and I don't want it overcooked. So, let's take it out and plate it up. Mmm, how good does that look? Yummo. So, let's get this out. 
Oh. And Brian reckons it's water storage. Beautiful. I've got to say, it looks amazing. I can't wait to tuck on in for the old taste test. Well, there you have it. It's cheesy. It's greasy. It's all together. Pleasy? Now, it's not the healthiest looking thing in the world, is it? Or is it? It's got all the food groups on it. <laughs> it's loaded with all the good fats. <laughs> and who cares if it isn't? I mean, let's face it, life's too short to eat lettuce every day. So let's give this some fork and knife action. But let's go. Let's see what the Grego meter thinks about this. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I think it, hang on a second. Where, where are you going, sunshine? No, you're heading in the wrong direction, I reckon, because I thought it was great. This unfolded omelet was just great. The cheese melted on the outside and down the sides. The egg is cooked perfectly in the middle. The bacon is crispy and delicious. Those tomatoes give it a real nice sweetness to it as well. Underneath, wow, look at that. <sighs> Mate, this is top notch. Good on you, Brian's wife, Helen. Anyway, I've got some kilograms I need to put on and some arteries that need a good clogging. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for my next recipe right here on Greg's Kitchen. See you then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen where today I made this beautiful, delicious, healthy bacon and egg breakfast. It's so healthy it'll put hairs on a woman's chest. Yeah.